Kasatu says it's becoming a burden to rally workers behind the ANC as the party is constantly failing workers. This is why the Federation Central Executive Committee is actually considering dumping the party ahead of the coming elections. Alvi Wemtila is following this story for us. He joins us now live. So tell us what came out of today's briefing. Also, there were a number of things that were thwarted out over the last three days by Kasatu, but the one that really stood out is that the trade union is considering dumping the ANC in the upcoming local government elections. In fact, it's going to hold a special um, central executive committee meeting uh, just to deliberate on whether that would be the appropriate decision because they say that the workers on the ground aren't being catered for. They believe that the ANC has lost touch with its constituency and that is the workers on the ground and they believe that they're not serving uh, their interests. So they feel that their workers um, can't be forced to vote for a party that essentially doesn't serve their interests, an issue that the uh, Mike Shingange from Kusatu touched on. It is very important for the ANC to, to know the things that they need to know or to hear the things that they need to hear, not the ones they want to hear. Because what they need to know and what they need to, to, to hear is that workers are increasingly losing patience with them. Workers are increasingly having a few that the ANC has abandoned the aspirations and the objectives of the Freedom Charters. Workers are beginning to think that uh, perhaps it's not correct that going forward the, their interest will be catered for by the ANC. If the ANC works up to diet and walk away from the box that they've closed themselves in of arrogance and thinking that they know everything and them and only them understand these things, if they work up to that, surely they're going to endear themselves again once more to South African society but also to workers, and that we will have helped the ANC. If the ANC criticizes and thinks that uh, we're decampaigning them, it's their business, good luck, we have no problem with that. We welcome criticism. They must criticize it very harshly, constructively so. Even those that are not constructive, we don't mind. Uh, talking about harsh, Kasacho also doesn't have much nice to say about the budget speech. Not at all, Shahan. They believe that Wednesday budget uh, was a huge disappointment. In fact, they believe it caters more for the corporate world uh, than the workers on the ground. They say, for example, corporate tax has been um, reduced, while um, the wages, wage increases of the workers on the ground have been frozen for, for four years. So they're saying that it didn't cater for um, the constituency of their members on the ground, and it's an issue that I touched on with the president of Kosatu, Zingi Swalos. The budget, we feel that it, it is pro-business than, than pro-poor because, uh, for an example, it, it does not talk about how and the targets of the jobs, how they will be uh, created, and it does not also make business to be accountable about the tax breaks that they are going to be getting. Uh, but also it, it, it puts austerities in, in, in relation to the most critical areas uh, for our people on issues of health uh, and, and, and the cut of budget with the municipalities. That's where services are mostly needed. And we feel that our government is quick to cut on the budget than to make people to account. It also does not tell us how government is, is preparing to uh, strengthen SARS in, in recouping and tracing uh, from the private sector the very same big business that is getting tax breaks on how they are going to recoup the, the tax evasions that have taken place in our country. So a lot of money goes to waste through corruption, through tax evasion, and, and, and those that get to, 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 to be punished are the poorest of the poor in our country. The businesses are saying, give us, if you give us tax breaks and, and tax relief, we would create employment. But currently, as we speak, businesses are retrenching. And there is no accountability by government to the businesses to say, but this is what we have done for you on the basis that this is what you're going to do. And all what we see is bloodbath. We'll leave it right there, our reporter, Abiwe Mtila.